must be lonesome, Mark. If it's a trap, I might need to go in quiet. Hmm. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. I'm so bored. I'm bored with being bored. I'm bored with you talking about being bored. I'm bored with you compl- Hold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and tie her down. Incoming! Die. Kill me. Let's see what Zayat's hiding out here. There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. The tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. That Nora girl we got in the hole is nice and lean. Don't get ideas. Guy says hands off or he'll hurt her price it off. Sounds like Nico is here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. <clears throat> Help us get out of here. Nikoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men.
Move incoming fire! You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. How did Zayed capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And... after? Said he was gonna sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time, kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know, maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend. May he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said, No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... Torn apart, not blown up. 
What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. I love this bit. So much for being careful. already I've never seen a machine like that whoa nor a hunter so bold take this it's from the quarry stores but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it may you walk in the light friend especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground oh that's nice glad I stopped for a bit I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's a show. Just be patient, and everyone will get in! What's going on here? Owen's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the Proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. The city's locked down. Not getting through, Outlander. If this keeps up, I'll be it's always the merchants. The oh. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. 
I doubt that Eren, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! It drinks on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving. The man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, so that makes it easier? Yeah. Why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Shift today. Sure as the sun's rising, he's recording that noble girl. So many people here, all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a Nora? Apparently, they're letting anyone into the city these days. Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Erend, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Every other town or village. Yeah. 
Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. Frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. Big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? to obey or they'd kill his family. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted.
There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus is the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You... I came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do.